conversation would go with me and a prospect. Let's do it. Okay, so if you guys, I love being able to connect with everybody that's watching right now live. It's amazing to be able to send messages and like, wow. Yeah. So Eric, this We're is a big the, family here. This is the bomb. I love you guys out there. So thank you for doing this and being here and get ready to take some notes. So, all right, here we go. First thing, just like you said, when you get an appointment with someone, if you have not connected with them in a long time, the first thing you need to do is just interview them on their life. Be genuinely interested in what is going on. And just like Todd said, if you ask the right questions, they will tell you exactly what they need. So until I know what somebody needs, whether it's more time, more health, or more money, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on the opportunity I have. Now I come to find out that my friend, he's got a great job. He is, you know, goes to the gym all the time, but the last thing he has is time for his family. So I'm going to say, listen, man, we need to get together. I really need to show you this opportunity. And what would be a good, like, when would be a good time for you? So let's fast forward, and this is how the conversation would go when I sit down to have the enrollment meeting with him. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, listen, you know, what I'm going to show you right now and what I have to share with you, I can't promise you anything, but if you like it, please take it. Let's do this. I would love to build this with you, but don't get me wrong. If you don't like it, no problem. I still love you, and we can talk about something else. So what you do right there is you take all of the pressure off. You're literally just sharing an opportunity with him, and you take being a salesman out of it. Now we're connecting heart to heart. Listen, I have an opportunity that you need to hear about. If you like it, let's do it. If you don't like it, I still love you, no sweat. So the first thing, getting into all of it, notice I'm not going to talk about water. I'm not going to talk about Enagic. I'm not going to talk about business. I'm just going to talk about life mm. and what is so right now. So what is so in the world right now, and I'm, I'm hoping you guys will be able to see this. I'm going to draw a little graph, and excuse me if it's extremely sloppy, but I'll do my best. And I'm going to map out 40 years of life. So I learned from my father, and this is the system that 95% of people are in in the world, that you go to school, you get a job, you work 40 years, you retire, and then you can enjoy your life. So mm -hmm. quickly, I map those years out. So we'll do 25 to 65. All right. And on this side, what's everybody's plan? When you get your first job out of school, you know, maybe you're making 1200 to 1500 dollars a month. As you get older, your income goes up. All right? But as we get older, there's a number that follows us, and that is the cost of living, okay? So when we get to the age of retirement, what happens to your income, Eric? It dissipates. It dissipates. It goes way down. So yep. draw an arrow going down. Fixed income, that's not fun. Right. What happens to the cost of living? Oh, it goes up. It continues going up. No okay? doubt, always. All right, so that's really interesting. Our income goes down, but it still costs more to live every year we're alive. That's right. So here's some really powerful statistics. Uh, they say that for somebody to retire comfortably at 65, for 30 years, you need $2 million in the bank. Okay? Another really interesting statistic that I share is the average 55-year-old in this country has less than $40,000 in the bank. So when I draw that out, it's not to make people who are working in the system good or bad or right or wrong. It's not doing that. What the point of drawing that graph out is, is to show them their predictable future. Right? We want to 
see, okay, if I keep doing the same thing I'm doing now for the next 40 years, I can see clearly where I'm going to end up. And I, you know, after asking them, you know, what their dream is, if they want more money or more time or more health, why do they want those things? If you could take money out of the equation, what would you be doing? And it comes down to the next, the next step that I get into is, okay, so we're all humans here. We've got rich people in the world. We've got poor people in the world and people in the middle class. So what's the big difference? Everyone has 24 hours in a day. What's the big difference here? So I would say maybe how they're spending those 24 hours in a day. So let's draw this out. And I call this working smarter versus harder. So if you're working in the system that we talked about, you are working as an employee. Let's say you work an average eight hours a day. So we'll draw that out. An, an employee works eight hours a day times 30 days in a month, right? You don't take any days off. That means you're able to get paid for 240 hours. Okay? Like you said, fixed income. We know that if we work every single day of the month, we're going to be getting paid for 240 hours. So the difference between somebody that's working in the system and only able to max out on 240 hours would be the person that owns a system. So if you are a system owner, and let's say you have 100 partners, which in our case, in this business, that would be the equivalent of being a 6A, all right? So we've got 100 partners who all have eight hours a day times 30 days. Now we're getting paid on 24,000 hours in a month. So I'm not trying to give anybody a job. They've already got one. What I'm trying to do is give them the opportunity to own their own system. And that's when I show them the investment. All right, so the company that I am showing you right now, Enagic, 41 years old, they have a patented eight-point system yep. that allows you to become a system owner, right? And now we can work towards, you know, instead of having to work our whole lives ex exchanging our time for money, we start to be able to build a business that operates off lever time leveraged. So when we are on vacation, income is still coming in. I, I see Cynthia and Romy and all these top leaders traveling the world and then they come home and they've got a stack of checks. You know, oh, yeah. the, so that's, that's what Cynthia. we're doing here. <laughs> no yeah. doubt. Yeah, I mean, so, and where else on the planet can you have can you uh, have something like that? You know, I mean, this is exactly a unbelievable opportunity. So notice, Eric, at, in, during this conversation, I have not talked about water. I have not talked about business. All I've talked about was life and what is so and what everybody is doing right now. Everybody's got that predictable future. If you want change in your life, you have to change something in your life. If you want your life to be different. You have to do something different. Um, and by showing somebody how they can own their own system, that's going to give them physical health, financial health, and time freedom, then we're really offering them something of value and, and actually giving them a solid chance to do something different. So that's at that point, that's when I would show them what the investment looks like initially. I would show them how when you bring it when you come in with your investment if you help two people bring in two people you've already made back your your the money you invested right and then it just gets and then it just gets insane um, so that that's it that's how I'm keeping it really simple um, after I show them the investment I get out the 
amazing brochures that Enagic offers, and I have them right here, and I show them. Listen, when you make your investment, there has to be a product. If not, we're talking about an illegal Ponzi scheme, right? So the product, mm -hmm. and I might pick up my pen. I learned this one from Todd. The, the product could be this pen, Eric, <laughs> but it's not, right? It could be the pen, and that would work, but yep. it's not. Because the That's system right. is still the same. It's, it's way better than a pen, right? It's actually, you know what? Your body's made of 75% wow. water. This company is offering you the literally the, the best water ionizer in the world, the K8. Yes. I show them. I'll show them the K8, and I will show them the platinum. Okay, we've got platinum and we've got white. Which one looks better in your kitchen? So we'll go with that one. Um, then I show them the NS Spa, right? And this machine Love replicates it. the same properties as the Futamata Hot Springs in Hokkaido, Japan. If you've never heard of that, they're world-renowned healing hot springs. You can Google them. This machine puts those same properties in your shower. So, you know, we show them the machine, we show them the Nespa, and we show them the turmeric. You can Google turmeric. Anyone can Google turmeric, and they're going to find only good on there. It's one of the most potent anti-cancer supplements you can have. Indeed. It's one of the most potent anti-inflammatories in existence, and it's natural. Well, hey, did, remember when I said this company is based out of Okinawa, Japan? Okinawa, Japan has some of the richest soil on earth, and our Ukon is the only organic source that comes out of Okinawa, and you can only get it through Enagic, right? So after I show them the system they can own, after I show them the investment, now I can show them the products, and now I can educate them on why they need to drink this water. Hey, have you ever thought about this? Your body is made of 75% water, you know, and if water is not all the same, you know, wouldn't it make sense that putting the best water in your body would be a good thing? Um, and then you just, just go from there. Then you can show them a water demo. Um, you send them a link, have them watch that. But here's the thing, Eric. When you show them the investment and you show them what's possible for them and you, show, you make it personal to them and exactly how, hey, these are the people that we need to talk to and make this opportunity known to for you. Mm -hmm. And now they don't want the water to be wrong. They don't want to question you know what if Kangen water is what we're telling them it is you know they're believing us um, which all of us who have studied the water for years know that we don't need to argue or convince anybody that this water is what it is you know the science is out there it's all out there um, if somebody is willing to have the eyes to see it they'll see it um, and that's it I just try to keep it really simple Hopefully that was easily understandable, um, but I'll stop there yeah, and, and no, yeah. I love yeah. it. I love it. I like you know. I like to. See, I always say the the uh, the eyes to see it, the the ears to hear it, uh, and to understand it, and the heart to believe it. Um, when those three elements are in place, it's done. It's done. So 